Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever time of day it is you're viewing this. My name is Pastor Michael. This is the bread of life, and in the bread of life, Jesus is the main ingredient. Today's devotional is coming from Matthew chapter 3, verse 13 through 15. Matthew chapter 3, verse 13 through 15. Then Jesus went from Galilee to the Jordan River to be baptized by John. But John tried to talk him out of it. I am the one who needs to be baptized by you, he said. So why are you coming to me? Verse 15. But Jesus said, it should be done, for we must carry out all that God requires. So John agreed to baptize him. And so for the next few moments, I want to talk to you from the subject. A part of the plan. A part of the plan. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on us this moment and anoint us with your presence. Receive us into your bosom, a place of refuge and a place of comfort. Shower the seed that has been planted in us that it would grow and bear good fruit. Father God, may I be moved to the back and may you be moved to the front. And may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, my Lord and my Redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. So you ever felt unqualified for the position that you had or the work that you were doing? You ever felt like what you were doing in no way had an impact for God's kingdom. See, if we're not careful, we'll fall into this mindset that what we're doing doesn't matter, right? It has no real value or impact on God's kingdom. Um, we may think lowly of ourselves if we're not part of the 5% who do vocational ministry, right? We may think lowly of ourselves if we're not the pastor, if we're not the preacher, or the one involved in the area of ministry of the church. We may feel like we're not a part of God's plan and what we're doing doesn't have an impact for his kingdom. Well, here's a news flash: We are all part of his plan. From those of us who would be considered the least to those of us who are considered the greatest. For those who serve vocationally, bivocationally, or who are in the marketplace, etc. Wherever we go and whatever we do, if we do it in representation of God and his kingdom, we are a part of his plan. I remember uh, some years back when I used to clean the church. Um, I cleaned for about a year before I ever got involved in any type of ministries at the church. I cleaned for another two years before I was brought on as a staff pastor at the church. <laughs> and I remember every day Pastor Mick used to tell me what I was doing was important to God and his kingdom. Everything we do whether it's cleaning the church, whether it's pastoring the church, or representing God's kingdom in school, in our communities, or our, in our workplace, we are all part of God's plan. And we must be willing to do all that God requires in that place or in that space. Here's my prayer, that God would help us to see our value and that we would boldly and confidently do all that God requires that God requires. In Jesus' name, amen. Until next time.